Goes for the rune tonight. Can he get out? I think he's dead. Oh, Sing Sing taking some return damage, but Speed Gaming do secure the first blood. Now Resolution, the target of choice. They finish him off before he makes it to the high ground, but it will cost him a Shadow Fiend. Arrow comes in. That's the end of Owie 2000, but Silent will pay with his life. Bottle charges there. Oh, Not going to oh, happen. Oh. Nice timber chain. Oh, speed Three gaming. for two, but yeah. top lane. Nope, they can't do anything here. I have Oh, Flaming Lasso still not up. Another 10 seconds. He will have the duration of this invisibility rune at his leisure. Dyer's Sing Sing in just awful positioning for what's incoming. Oh, no. Here we go. They will initiate onto Aoi 2000. Doom Ultimate Pop. That will secure the kill. Meanwhile, Sing Sing trying to tango with Resolution, and it's not going to go his way. The arrow inbound to follow up the lasso. An easy two kills coming out for Empire. Jason Games getting almost none here. They're diving Bone bottom. Seven needs to be careful. The Doom Ultimate is available. They will burn it on the Timber Saw, but he gets a Timber Chain off first. A nice Flame Break to interrupt him, though it does help him juke that Marana arrow. Doesn't matter as they still secure the kill. Moonlight Shadow comes out, as does the Fiend's Grip. They want this Doom Bringer, and they'll find him. A dust gets popped to try and deal with the Moonlight Shadow. Did Didn't get the Marana though. Resolution TPing out. He oh, will live. Oh, Sentry's coming down. There's the Nightmare onto Marana. Silence in big trouble. The Chain Frost does take a couple of bounces here. Now gonna hit to Owie 2000. Moving around the Familiars. It will cost Lich's life. Silent, not out of the clear yet, but will hop down to the low ground. And he does survive. That makes it a one for two exchange. Timber saw for Doom and Lich. Yeah, they did get the Slardar in the previous fight, so I guess in that sense it's a BKB, but oh, Pilot Die gets caught. That is a dead bane as Resolution uses the lasso. They're going to continue to pursue on Bone 7. He tries to port out. Flame Break interrupts it. And easy two kills going the way of Empire. And they're going to ward the Ancients now. Thank on bottom, there's the Slytherin Crush. Connects with Mag. Eternal Envy taking a lot of damage to start things off. There's the Fiend's Grip on Mag. They want to finish him before the Doom Ultimate comes out, and they'll find it. He's the first to fall. Now Bone 7 looking for a retreat. Sing Sing pops right in. BKB, Requiem of Souls. Now the Shadow Raise. He will secure a kill on the Lich. That makes it a 2 for nil. And Speed Gaming will back up to friendly territory. Wow. If that... The, well, he's uh -oh. getting doomed right now. I guess that's the real main thing. Yeah, Bone 7 in big trouble. They, they still have Tier 1 up. I don't know if they can kill him. We'll chase him down. There's the War Stomp. Arrow connects with Pylai Die as he ports in. Resolution blinks forward. There's the Lasso, and they secure two kills. Envy, maybe not out of the clear yet. We'll sprint away, and he does make it back. So another that's easy two kills. The Rush could set up for Sing Sing to do a huge amount of AoE damage. Radiant Speed, though, they ain't no fools. They will do a five-man smoke, and they're looking for the wraparound. This is going to be a big team fight here, LD. And in goes Eternal Envy. He's going to catch two with the Slytherin Crush to start it off. And where's the rest of the fight going to start to transpire? Right in the middle, Sing Sing trying to channel that Requiem of Souls, but he'll take a Doom. That interrupts it, and this is not looking good for Speed Gaming. Owie 2000 now getting pursued. He's going to fall. It's a 3 for 2, but the fight's not done quite yet. Eternal Envy will blink back to safety. Pylai Die used his Fiend's Grip, then got the hell out of there. Empire still finding the favorable exchange. He almost got Requiem off. Sing Sing was like a quarter of a second. Isn't nearby to keep or to uh, set up a kill on silent and some nightmare toggling to allow him better positioning whoa not over yet eternal envy blinks forward always want to fly four staffing backwards but now he's in big trouble the moonlight shadow comes out amplified damage maybe we'll secure the kill no they'll finish off the slardar sing sing with the bkb popped comes in for one last shadow raise meanwhile Timbersaw did get picked off up in the top lane as all that was happening. Two cores for a Actually pushing into the base as Speed Gaming move into their own jungle. Bat Rider looking for an opening and he'll find it on Pylai Die. That is a dead bane before this fight even starts. Now Bone 7 as he hops in will be in big trouble. Marana laying in those right clicks. A few more ought to do the trick. And that is a dead Bone 7. A 2 for nil in the Radiant Jungle. And now Speed Gaming are truly in big trouble. Wait, that make that 3 for nil as Eternal Envy also gets caught. Gaming, this will be a bottom lane of racks, and I think Speed Gaming on the verge of tapping out. There it is, GG, well played. Empire take game one of this best of three series. Sheesh, Russian Dota pretty strong, huh? Yeah, looking good. Fuck here, he could tango through if he needs to, but the Chen's coming. Uh oh, Bone Seven will use the battery assault to start things off. There's the Cogs. In comes the Storm Spirit. Bone Seven now on the back foot will get frozen from the Ancient Apparition. He survives long enough to secure the first blood. Clockwork, the one to grab the bonus gold. Resolution will find a return kill, and that makes it a one for one. Aoi 2000 successful with his first gank. Not a because you oh, can actually no. push the tower right away off Haste of that. Haste rune on Resolution. He's looking for an opening onto Aoi, and he'll find it. Aoi was going to deny the rune, and now he's going to die. <laughs> yep. Poor guy. Maybe. He's trying maybe. his best here. Bone 7, he's on his way in. Maybe he'll survive. He will stand his ground. That mud a golem grave. Grave. actually doing a bit of extra damage. Yep, Shallow Grave comes out on resolution. Now Bone 7 he in, can go back in big trouble. 
This will be a two for nil swing in favor of Empire. Oh, the misplays from Speed. Also, just the grape. We'll give the solo XP. They can the force this. Here comes Storm. He's oh, going to find AUI. No. Chen in big trouble. Does have the hand of God. Won't even be able to use it. And now these wards almost working against speed. It's a 5v4 on the field, and the wards will continue to do damage to Roche. Eternal Envy going to go in. He is going to finish Roche and grab the Aegis for himself. Mag in big trouble, but does get the shallow grave. There's the Eclipse from Luna doing a fair bit of damage and secures the kill onto the clockwork. So it's a 2 for nil exchange, but don't forget, speed did secure the Roche on and also have the Aegis on their life stealer. Sing Sing in big trouble. The negative earn, almost enough, but in comes the hand of God from Chen. Eternal Envy falls. Crystal Maiden got picked off in the fray. Oh, I boy. Don't know that this was... Mm -hmm. Remember the graves here. So even if they jump on someone, it's not an easy Dyer's kill. Armlet is up on uh, <laughs> the Lifestealer as well. They do engage onto Silent. Shallow Grave comes out in time, and he will avoid death, at least for now. Out comes the Eclipse to do some return damage. It's a one-for-one one as the fight starts off. Sing Sing now coming in with just a few hit points to spare. Looking for a Storm's disable on coming. Mag. Oh, Storm hasn't even joined the battle yet. This could be a disaster for Speed Gaming as they turn it around. Pylai die, the target of choice from Resolution, and he secures the kill. Not going to pursue into the tower, but it will be a two for three when it's all said and done. D down to the bottom lane. But Empire seemed to know. Look at them. Yeah. Good game sense. They're hiding behind this bottom tier one tower. We'll force them to reveal themselves should they want to dive. And I don't think they'll find that opening. The good thing is they have clockwork, so all they have to do is catch Silent. wind. He of poked someone. out his head. Now Pylai die's oh, been spotted. No. The There's backup can arrive soon. The rocket. Hook okay. shot. Will connect with Silent. He doesn't have the Infest Bomb with him. Lifestealer is inside of Sing Sing at the moment. The Blade Mail gets popped. Sing comes in and oh no. This Rasta's in big trouble. He gets the Orchid. Doesn't get the wards down. This is a disaster for Speed Gaming. They secure the kill onto Luna. But it costs them four of their members. Chen the lone survivor. And not for long. A one for five exchange. Empire. Looking like they could take a possible 2-0 series, LD. Oh my goodness. As oh, is Pylai Die. This is game die. if they lose this fight. This is game if they lose. Oh no. Empire are posturing around. They're looking for the perfect opening. Roche getting very low. And he's turned in. That is a big chicken. He will go down to the Dire. And the Aegis does get picked up by Sing Sing. Now the fight's going to start. Right away the Aegis gets popped and the rest of Speed get completely annihilated. Eternal Envy, the only one alive. Less that of Sing. And he did get sent back to the well. So. They lose a few heroes here. They do have level 3 Eclipse, though. Oh, a nice hook shot. Wards come down straight away. Dazzle gets off a defensive weed, uh, weave. Grave on the... the uh, Dazzle uses the Grave on Luna. Buys him some time, but unfortunately not enough. They do secure a couple of kills onto Speed Gaming. The Lifestealer was dead, so they managed to pick off... Oh, and they, bomb. Are they really contesting this? I think this is a risky play, but they're going to go for it. They'll drop Silent to start off the fight now. And the wards come down, of course. Nyx Assassin gets the grave. Meanwhile, Shadow Shaman has fallen. This Luna's just melting. She doesn't get to fight. There was no grave. Wow. They didn't even have a chance for it. And they take three. They defend the tower. Okay. The tower was... Was it denied? I didn't actually... Perhaps looking for a hook shot in. Sing Sing with the surprise inside once again. Roche falling very quickly. If they want to do it, they've got to go now. Roche has fallen to the Radiant. Aegis picked up by the Life Stealer, so it was snatched. Shadow Shaman falls, but as does the Luna, this fight erupting into a bit of chaos. Always want to fly, does pour it out, and it will be a one for one exchange. Cheese and Aegis to the Life Stealer. And oh. the Luna died again without doing oh, this. Oh no, Resolution. He's going to walk right into him. Storm he has the Lincolns, though. It keeps him alive. He zips away. Now Lifestealer comes in. There's the Abyssal Blade. The Grave comes out. That'll keep him alive. Even the Wards burn to try and finish him off. Silent does get the Eclipse off as well as the BKB. He stands his ground. This could be the fight that Empire have been looking for. Crystal Maiden, the only one to go down. Ah, scratch that. The Ancient Apparition falls as well, but they get a Clockwork in exchange. In comes the Zip from Resolution. He's feeling bold, and it's going to work. Lifestealer stands his ground against Silent. There's that Evasion starting to take an effect, and he wins the duel. Empire Empire finally find the fight they've been looking for. Mega kill for him, and they have an opportunity. The I a ult's coming now. Yeah, I like how they're handling this. There's the zip forward. We'll catch Sing Sing with the sheep. In comes the rest of the team. They might be able to drop the Shadow Shaman, and they do. Out comes the Eclipse. Pylai die falls. Now this uh, Eternal Envy Lifestealer in big trouble. He'll stand his ground, and he will fall. The instant buybacks from Speed Gaming. Out comes the Freezing Field from Pylai die. It's just not enough. That's going to be a dieback coming out. They're continuing to pursue. Now Orchid on the Lifestealer. Resolution feeling bold. Will be forced to zip backwards, but they've created the space. The tier 3 tower taking heavy damage. 
Although, they might not be able to secure the racks quite yet. EE will continue to press out, but Silent is here. He's starting to right-click him down, and EE will overcommit outside of the base. He grabs the kill onto the Storm Spirit, but it all cost him his own. The big AA ult it comes in to finish him off. Bone 7, he will get taken down as well. That's the GG well played. Empire take it, 2-0. Man, what a game. Back Ooh. and forth, up and down. The graph looks fairly 